Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to a, another pre-market pulse scan. Uh, this is being recorded on Tuesday, April the 4th, 2017. Jumping right into the overnight markets. Uh, bond futures rallied up to 152.13 and is pulled back to 151.30. So it is bullish and it looks like... Uh, Bond prices are going to continue to run here. The Dow is off 39. I'm going to make that 40 points at 20,550. Uh, the Nasdaq 100 down on 19 and three quarter points at 54.14 and three quarters. And you got the e mini S&P 500 down seven and a half at 23.48 quarter. Nikkei down 175 at 18.870. So it's no longer at the 19,000 handle. Looking at crude oil, crude oil is, looks like it is up 27.5 cents at $50.52.5. Uh, yesterday, the dollar index held steady above par. We'll see what happens today. Looking at gold, gold right now is up $4.70 at $12.58.70. It did hit $12.63.70 uh, not long ago. Looking at silver, silver is up 10 cents at 1832, pulled back from 1843 just a moment ago. And natural gas holding bullish at 319. So commodities are still hanging in there. Um, this is going to be interesting. Let's take a look at what the pulse waves have to say to this today. Uh, markets have been somewhat in a holding pattern. So let's see if we can get any breakouts. A couple of the breakouts that we had on the rally alerts yesterday did not pan out. Nothing seemed to really happen. So we'll see if we can get some movement today. All right, let's jump right into the rally alerts here. Let's see what we got of note. Looks like commodities are set to continue to, uh, to rise a little higher. The DBA ETF does have a rally alert on it. Uh, let's see, in the energy space, we got DGAS and DRIP and Gas X with rally alerts. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Johnson & Johnson. We got Knack. Nick Knack Paddywhack has a rally alert. Nintendo. Orange Juice Feach, uh, Futures does. The Ultra Short. QQQ. This is going to be an interesting one. Um, this is the, the quid, QID. That one has a rally alert on it. So let's see if this one's going to get momentum and, and start running. If this triggers, then that's pretty much a wrap for the QQQ. We should continue to see um, downward pressure and possibly start a corrective phase in that one. Uh, let's see the SQQQ rally alert as well. The um, the ultra short Russell ticker symbol SRTY uh, Teva Pharmaceuticals uh, the ProShares Russell TWM the inverse ETF has a rally alert uh, US Rare Earths U R E E Verizon and Yen which is the China bull ETF has a rally alert so possibly China will run up. I don't know, William. You tell me to China run up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, also, the Nikkei has a rally alert, which is interesting because it's already showed signs of weakness and pulling back. And in the overnight market, we have a situation of 1960. So, yeah, it's that's not going to manifest. I don't see that happening. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's talk about what we came here to talk about. What's up with gold and silver? What's going on? Well, according to the pulse waves, the gold did break out. Uh, the 1252.80 handle should serve as a support at this stage. We will see if that happens. Uh, right now, as it stands, uh, gold is at 1258.20. So as far as on the weekly time frame, we still have the bullish momentum. 
baked in on the weekly chart. If you switch over to the daily chart, we we still got that bullish momentum. We've pulled back off the highs, though. It's a narrow range bar, but nevertheless, we still have that momentum that we like to see. On an intraday basis, the momentum is kind of waning, and that's what you don't want to see. On the hourly chart, we've already dipped below momentum, and on the four-hour chart, we're trying to hang in there. So this is an interesting intraday type of a setup. I still like it. I like the way that the chart looks. Now, as far as the algorithmic perspective, yes, um, the downtrend has been, the longer term downtrend has been weakening somewhat. And on the monthly chart, we're, we're looking more bullish. And we are pulse waving positive. The only part I don't like is because we're not out of the Kumo cloud yet. The Even though the downtrend has been weakening, <clears throat> excuse me, the negative momentum is still locked in it. That's the part that I don't like. All right, so this is not an uber bullish picture yet on the daily chart. Even though we've, we got good momentum, we're not really out of the woods yet, according to the algos. So we need to be careful and watch. We do got a lot of wiggle room, though. A lot of wiggle room. <clears throat> I think the system it really likes this and is giving it room to work. Take a look at where the stop losses are on the future side of things. Right now, I'm looking at the 1GCC1 ticker symbol on the in play tab. So that's what I've been talking about. So you see we have a long way to go. You see where the um, where the 52-week highs are at. If you look under that weekly uh, column there on the in play tab, you see where we need to go. All right, we still got $125 to run. All right. Can we make it? Of course we can make it. So this is where we are right now, okay? So still got a lot of things to work out. Let's take a look at silver. On the silver future side, that's 1SIC1 uh, on the in-play tab. All right, notice that the makeup of this chart is a little bit different. It's showing a little bit stronger, more strength. The downtrend column is in a corrective state. It is not full-blown weakening yet. And it has a crash alert on it. However, the weekly, uh, on the weekly time frame, we've turned bullish. We're at the beginning stages of bullishness. We haven't changed on the monthly. However, momentum is still locked in on the long side. So we need to watch this one also to see, you know, where where can we possibly go from here? All right. The market is already broken out on both the gold and silver futures. It did it in the overnight. All right. So this these are already long and already broken out. So now we need to see, is it going to translate into our other uh, tickers that we like to look at? So let's take a look at the USLD and the UGLD. All right, starting with the UGLD, the UGLD right now, uh, the makeup of this chart is just like its futures counterpart all right, to the T. The only question is, can it break out? If it breaks out, I'm a little bit more hopeful. But with that said, that has to be tempered with the fact that GLD's chart, which is also identical to that, has not been anywhere near breaking out so we have to really watch it because right now if i pull up the overnight for you real quick let's see where we are all right look at the bottom right hand side of the screen here okay we we hit 120.11 and now we've pulled back to 119.56 so we're still positive the pulse wave price trigger it's broken out in the pre-market. The question is, is it going to correct enough after the opening bell to get us in at our price? And or is this going to be one of those situations where we're going to have to hold it for a couple of days because we're probably going to oscillate around here 
and just hang out here near these highs. So a lot of questions, a lot of question marks. And the thing is, where do you go from here? I think we're at a situation now where we're actually starting to build positions here once again. Uh, JNUG is, is the same scenario. Notice that the entry price is far removed from the market, so it's not ready yet. All right, if you look at your miners, we're not quite there yet. Miners seem to be lagging the metals at this point. So that's what we're waiting to see. Look at your GDXJ. All right, look at your entry point there. I would stick to the entry points, and I would also stick to the stops. All right, this is what we need to do right now. Um, I did not pull the trigger on the U gas. I kept my original stops in place. So let's just take a look here. That's the opening bell. Let's see what we open here on the U gas. All right, it looks like 2051. Yep, 2053, okay. 2053 is what we're opening up on the U gas right now. All right, look at today's stop on the U gas on the sheet. I like that stop, and I think that's where I'm going to move my stop to. And I'm also um, going to wait to add to this one. Look at today's price trigger. Let's just say that's triggered today and hit today then that's where I'm going to look to add to my natural gas positions. All right. All right. So with that being said, uh, look for me on live with uh, V today. Today is Terra Dome Tuesday. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Trading room, hang in there. We got to do some shopping.